All right, hey guys, and welcome back. As this week, I'm gonna be taking a look at the 1979 Hot Wheels Service Center playset. Now this playset was, as I mentioned, released in 1979. And this was during the era of uh, Hot Wheels cars where you had like the black wall tires, uh, before you started seeing a lot more like character cars and futuristic cars that would come along uh, in the early 80s and mid 80s and then some other more unique cars that would come along in the 90s that would be more than just your uh, run-of-the-mill, just ordinary car. Um, there were about three or four different iterations of this play set that were released over the years. I believe one was released, uh, I think, a few years later, in either 1981 or 1983, and then 1986, and then also in the early 1990s. And that one was a little bit more um, modern, where it had like a like a register and more electronic stuff that you could do uh, with it. So it was pretty more advanced than this. This is about as basic as you can get. Uh, but this playset was extremely popular. I remember how a lot of my friends having this. I remember uh, seeing commercials for this growing up and seeing this in like Toys R Us and toy stores all over the place. It was pretty cheap and it was very popular because of course Hot Wheels were and have always been insanely popular. So this being one of the first play sets, of course it was gonna be a big hit and has stayed popular over the years in different variations. Now, as far as this, uh, the main playset goes, there's not really too much to it. Uh, this is just it in its kind of a carrying case mode or travel mode, uh, so not much to it, just this light tan um, design. Uh, you have on the back side here, uh, you have two sliding locks which hold it in place. Uh, you also have these uh, support beams that hold the uh, bottom half of the playset up when it's unfolded. And then you have this here, which is the handle uh, that you use to just take it around with you wherever you're going, if you're going over to a friend's house or something like that, so that way you can just hold it by that and carry it around. And uh, on the one side here, I believe, I don't know if this actually came with this set or not, or somebody put that on later. You have a nice Hot Wheels sticker on the side. I think that probably was a part of the set. So um, that's pretty much it for it. And it's just kind of compact travel mode. So now let's go ahead, we'll open this up and we'll set it up and take a more closer look at it. So all we're gonna do now is we're just gonna fold these tabs open. And it's just gonna open like this. And then, won't be able to see, but then the support beams in the back, they get folded out. And then you can lift up your little Hot Wheels Service Center sign to let everybody know that you're open for business. And there you go, there is the service center. All right, so here we can see the inside more up close of the Hot Wheels Service Center. And you have some really nice stickers. You have the car wash, and you can see all the people uh, going inside, and they're looking out the windows. As you have the car wash here, where these little rollers, uh, they turn around, and you can move your car through the car wash, which works kind of okay. And then we got George's radiator, boil outs and repairs. I don't even know what a boil out is. That doesn't sound like it's uh, something too fun for your car to go through. You got the little gas pumps. Now this is replaced. This isn't the original tube. Just the closest one that I could find that matches it. But that's all it would have been anyway. Just a plain little vinyl black plastic tube. Got the little garage door that opens and closes. And then we got Al Service and Tires having a tire sale here. And there's Al at the front. Looks like he's going over some inventory or a bill or something. And this is a little uh, lever that makes a little bell ring when your car comes down the ramp. And something you probably wouldn't see today too is you have these stickers, the Pennzoil, Shell, which I don't even know if Shell is still around anymore, and Goodyear, so you have some branding on there. And then you can see the rest of the ramp as it goes up. And then we have Ted's Dynometer Test Center. And you can see this is definitely the 70s. I remember my dad would go into Pet Boys and you would see these big, crazy machines looking like they were out of like a science fiction uh, movie that they'd put your car on. And they'd be expensive. It'd be like a couple hundred bucks to run a diagnostic to see what was going on with your car. And you put the car on there and you turn this little wheel and it's supposed to 
make the wheels spin, but something in there is jammed. Like, it kind of turns, but you have to lift it up in order to get the gear to work. So that just, I don't know. I don't know if that ever worked right, honestly. And then up top here, you have the, uh, the elevator, which uh, just goes up and down. I wonder if this used to have a peg. I'm not sure if it did or not, because that makes it a lot easier to uh, turn that up and down. It takes like 20 or 30 turns to get the thing to go from a down position all the way to the top floor. So there's the elevator. And there's the Hot Wheels service center sign again. Down here you have the uh, other part of the garage to the elevator. And this is Mike's Transmissions. Oh man, you don't want to be in here because that's going to cost you a bundle. But you got to like that, how he got the uh, all the tools on the wall there. Looks like an old Corvette up on the rack, changing the tires. Valvoline sticker, racing oil, brakes, mufflers, best brand, brake shoes. Then you got the other, uh, other bay for cars that are waiting. And then here's the ramp, speed limit. 35 miles an hour, which uh, I think that's a little slow, but the way they designed that, you'd be going way faster if you were coming down this crazy ramp. No way anybody's only going 35 going down there. But uh, there you go, that's all the main stickers to this set, and it looks really neat. So now let's go ahead, we'll put some cars in here, and we'll do a few little uh, test runs and show you how everything works. All right, so the Hot Wheels Service Center is open for business, and business looks good today. We got this really cool futuristic little Speed Racers car, Speed Demons, and he's out front here looking like he's getting ready to get some gas. And we've got another cool futuristic looking car, the Hot Wheels Flame Runner, another one of the Speed Demons line. He's out there, looks like he needs to get a car wash. Yeah, let's take a look inside old George's. And one of the cars from the Hot Wheels Crack-Ups line looks like he need, finally needed to bring it in for some repairs because maybe he needs uh, some work done on his radiator. And then over here, looks like we've got the fire departments all here with the fire chief and the fire truck. We got an old Hot Wheels red line up here that is getting some work done, some diagnostics that for some reason somebody went ahead and decided to ruin a beautiful paint job with that crazy yellow paint on the front of the hood. I have no idea why you would do that. Another one of the speed demons. We got Vampira here. Probably getting ready to test out that ramp, do some racing. We got a beautiful pace car Corvette up here. Getting some work done. And then up top, another speed demons car. We got the cool shark. Looking like he's ready to take on some other cars on the ramp. And an old time, old time Model A Ford truck up top there. Let's check and see if there's anybody inside the garage. Oh, there we go. Somebody else in there getting some repairs done. So now let's get everybody set up and let's send them down the track. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll send some of the cars down the ramp. We'll start out with the old Ford. There we go, and he's right in front of the garage door. Now let's start off with the, uh, with the Shark Mobile. And man, look at him fly. Park him in front of the gas station here, so there'll be more accidents. And now we'll send Vampire down. There we go. And now for the Corvette. Uh-oh, little fender bender. And finally, our cool future space car. And there we go. And then we got our space car. Of course, we can't forget about him. He's here for a car wash. There 
There we go, looking nice and clean. And now I know it does have the in and out stickers going the other way, but that doesn't really seem to work too well because when you put them in, they'll go through, but they get stuck and they hit the wall. So I think that these might have been, whoever put these in, I think they put them in in the wrong direction because that just doesn't make any sense. Well, anyway, guys, that's going to do it for my quick little look and a uh, small mini review here of this cool playset made by Hot Wheels in 1979, the Hot Wheels Service Center playset. So I hope you had a good time looking at all these uh, cool old Hot Wheels cars and this interesting vintage playset. And I'll see you back here next time. Hey guys, if you liked the video that you just watched, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And you can follow me at Facebook at King of Retro or Twitter at hashtag 8 Brian. See you next time.